A few thoughts now on what has been an action-packed first week for President Trump. Yes, I said week. It's only been a week. The president was sworn in just a week ago today, but he's already signed 14 executive actions and orders and memoranda. He's met with business, labor, and congressional leaders, as well as one foreign leader in the White House. He's traveled to a number of federal agencies and all the way to Philadelphia to talk to senators and congressmen at their annual Republican retreat. President Trump is setting a fast pace, to say the least, but the Democrats are slowing from what was already a snail's pace. The already obstructionist Dems now looking to pursue a scorched earth policy, vowing to work against the president to block him at every turn. Their do-nothing doctrine comes as President Trump reaches out to what was once a key Democratic constituency, unions and their workers and their families. Unions struggling in recent years, of course. President Obama did almost nothing for them. Union membership, in fact, has dropped to, to just over 10% of the workforce. That's the lowest number since records were first kept for membership. But union workers moving to Mr. Trump in the election. And he met with union leaders earlier this week. They had nothing but lavish praise for the new president. The result, a manufacturing jobs initiative comprised of both business and union leaders. The president has already taken action to help American workers withdrawing from TPP, greenlighting the Keystone and Dakota Access Pipelines, which could benefit uh, union workers as well. The president has been obviously full speed ahead, working tirelessly, showing off the energy that drove him as a candidate, but also mounting a full-on charm offensive as he drives ahead with his commitment to the interest of this country and America first in every way. He's leading by example. By the way, President Trump has also brought to the presidency a refreshing preference for we, our, us over I, me, and my. You may remember that has not always been so. You should know that in his speech to the Republicans at their Philadelphia retreat, President Trump used the first person plural twice as many times as the singular. And President Trump hasn't once, not once, blamed a thing on his predecessor in the Oval Office. Now our quotation of the evening, this one from Henry Ford. He said this, if everyone is moving forward together, then success takes care of itself. We're coming right back.